Hey everyone, here with another LEGO Star Wars 25th Anniversary Review, and also for, also one of the two for Summer 2024, of course. And this one's on the Desert Skiff and Scarlight Pit, or Starlight Pit, of course. So on the front of the box here, we would have the LEGO Star Wars logos, and uh, same border that we've seen with the other 25th Anniversary sets, and also highlighting the exclusive Nyam Nung minifig, and all the main things included, and the whole set in action on Tatooine, and uh, recommended ages is 9 and up, set number 75396, has 558 pieces. Then to the back side of the box, I have another view of the set, and all the features of it, and, and also the displayability of it, and the same logos again, and there. And now onto the manuals, which you get two of in this set. And of course, on rendering that there is. First one, which is our, the transition from plastic bags to paper bags, and add for the builder app. And on the back side, just the Star Wars logo. Last building steps for the Scarlet Pit. Other of which is back side, how to win on the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set, of course, which is actually four pages. Then add for rebuild world and last building steps. First up for the 25th anniversary thing is nine and up. Sorry about that. So first, as for the uh, torso printing, leg printing, all quite good for how it is. And as for the uh, head mold piece, which which is kind of duly molded in like dark brown and tan, of course. But whereas this was not the only appearance we've ever had of Nine Num. Also, we had in the uh, in the twenty fourteen B Wing set, of course, but. However, the one in that set of which did have was on a regular minifig headpiece and also had a helmet piece above that. So this of which quite good improvement over that one, of course. Then the back side of him just has the kind of good back torso printing, kind of similar to Haunt Solos of which, but although this tor uh, torso piece of which definitely can be used for some custom figs if you wanted, of course. And then as for and of course standing on the stand kind of part that says 25 years of Lego Star Wars and also has a 2x4 plate that you can take off and attach with other stands of that of the other 25th anniversary figs and 20th anniversary figs, of course. Which like I said in my other reviews. And that is it with the 25th anniversary fig with this one. And now on to the main mini fig selection. Yeah, first up, we would have Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker, of which was of which the same that came in the like uh, Emperor Throne Room diorama set, which like obviously the new hair piece there, and of course has the torso printing with great uh, colored torso there. It's still and also kind of reminiscent of the one that came in the 1999 uh, speeder bike chase set, and of course wielding the green lightsaber, obviously, and. However, if you didn't want to bother with that uh, diorama set, which this is which kind of good way to get him, of course. And then next to which have Han Solo and Chewbacca, which I feel probably came, which, uh, which came in uh, earlier sets for that. And of course, wearing handcuffs like they are in this scene. And then Han Solo, not sure if it's me, but I think Han Solo's face print might be all new and exclusive to this set. Uh, possibly, but yeah. And then next to which we have Boba Fett, of which with the side arm printings and everything, like we all saw in the Boba Fett mech set last year. But however, this which a lot more expensive way to get him, and this variant did, did kind of come in the like in the like 
big, large betrayal at Cloud City set in 2018, but however, still nice to get him here. And of course, does have the uh, range finder as well. And then the uh, face printing underneath of which, quite well suiting to him. And also like in that, a couple of those couple other sets, of course. And then last of which is Skiff Guard version Land of Calrissian. Like, of course, wielding the spear axe, of course. And however, the torso print, leg printing, of which all quite good for how it is. And helmet piece of which, kind of similar to one that was used in previous Desert Skiff sets. And, oh, and also other sets as well. And take that off. And quite unique face printing, which is probably all new for this set. Yeah. Yeah, probably is for that. But however, it still looks nice for that. And the helmet piece of which, also still quite nice as is. Then the back sides of each of them, quite good back torso printing on most of them. And well, all the Hansel's, which is also kind of new to that, which obviously representing him and still being under arrest and such. And then also, and also, and obviously for Princess Leia freeing him from the Carbonite, of course. And that is about it there. And if there's one thing this minifig selection also could have had is maybe an, an extra weak wave, as, uh, or yeah, weak wave guard that was like one of the previous uh, desert skiffs kind of did. But maybe that would have been a little too much for this set. And of course, had to make room for the nine um 25th anniversary fig. But yeah, and that is about it with the minifig selection. And now, first up for the builds is the all new Scarlet Pit, or Sarlike Pit, of course. Which, as you can see, major improvement over previous ones, like, does have quite a lot going on. Well, except for the part in the back, which I'll mention later, but however, it does have a lot of tan and dark tan mixed in, obviously, for the sounds of Tatooine. Like as for the detailing all over, where one side of which that is just a regular two by four brick and a jagged slope on top of it, and then where all of which is kind of a large mix of like just uh, jagged slopes and cheese slopes and a few plates sticking around and or just round studs sticking out, which you can see all over for that. And, and then also on top of which is a whole bunch of curved slopes as well. For that. And then as for like looking inwards, there's quite a lot of like uh, spiky tooth pieces to obviously represent some of the teeth of it, of course. And then also these cockpit pieces acting as like a large mouth like part, also like previous versions of it. And if you look onto the back side of it, which has these two little technic uh, beams acting as little knobs that you can move and make the tentacles slash back and forth. With, and are made of traditional tail pieces and also with elephant trunk pieces on top of them. And now, for quick comparisons with the one that came in the 2017th uh, Desert Skip set as a massive improvement. Like, does have a whole lot more going on to it, and also this was kind of a less than down version of it. But although the feature of this one is if you pull on the tentacle and it makes the mouth open and close for so that, but unlike this one, it's just the tentacles that move and can move the mouth yourself. Although I do kind of like having this kind of action instead for that. So I think this that feature should have been in this version for that, but so at least it's barely a little bit of an upgrade, not much of an upgrade for that. But although, but still would have liked to see this kind of chopping feature in this version as well. But yeah. 
I don't know, so now that's about it with the Scarlight Pit here. And now onto the Desert Skiff here. Which, as you can see, you know, oh, it's quite good for how it is, but although kind of similar to the 2017 uh, version of the Desert Skiff, but however, but of course, a few uh, improvements here and there, but although some features of which quite different than previous ones. Like for the front part of which, which has a few jagged slopes kind of pointed downwards and also these like curved wedge plates around it and and of course a little railing on top of it. Also like other versions. And then also just have a few tiles on here and also a few studs so you can stand plenty of figs onto it. And, and then also these railings for that, but one of which can actually open right on course for that. Probably so you can have better access to mini figs is when doing the other uh, plank scene of it. Although with this little uh, stud down below, you can press on that and makes the plank like platform uh, turn right up for that. And of course can have a mini fig stand on it as well. And of course why have this uh, railing kind of open up for that? Most likely to have better access to mini figs of course. And then this, and then also those two plates on there, which on other versions was just kind of made with larger plates to like reach in and have extra ammunition in there. But in this switch, you don't get that at all. And then this kind of back section here, which has kind of a little couple of joists or steering joysticks around and a pair of jumpers to stand a fig onto. Usually a, a weak way uh, guy or weak way would stand on there, but you don't get that in this set, of course. And this build which is quite more unique than the last version for that, and also this back section, quite uniquely built for how it is, and of course with another uh, flex tube around it. And Backside of which, <clears throat> just a few studs on like holder kind of pieces to represent like exhaust pipes and engine or boosters and such. And then also these uh, lower part of which, parts of which, which is just plates and also tiles around and also a uh, also a Chinese hat, otherwise Sensei Wu's hat from Ninjago, but acting as like extra greebling. I say kind of good touch there and also does have a couple of little pull or hinge rod kind of pieces as acting as like extra spear parts to it. And also have the clear cylinders to that and also also like the other versions but and also so this kind of largish dome like one to act to just to act as extra foot stability to it. I say, oh, which good, nice touch for that. And now, for a little comparison is with the last desert skiff we had in 2017, of course. As you see, design of which near nearly similar to that. But, like, obviously, for the front part of which, which has, well, one of which has curved slopes, this jagged slopes, and then also this one of which that does have the hidden compartment for ammunition into it. But the new one just doesn't have that at all. Also, I think they should have had that to put onto it, of course. And then also the plank build, which does have a couple of studs sticking out to that, but the other which doesn't at all. Since, of course, if you are to like display it with a fig on there, so with your Luke Skywalker fig on there, so then you just can't do that with this newer one because he would just fall off easily. And then also with this one, the railing can't turn off at all, but this one can do so as well. 
and then as for the back center control part of which it was major improvement on the new one of course and then as for this back section as you can see it does have a platform for that and also has quite a bit more going on on the new one for that which kind of, but of course kind of almost a few year difference between the two but yeah And that is about it there. So now on to the final verdict. As overall, this is a kind of good set for how it is. Like, and of course, the main incentive is the exclusive or 25th anniversary Nine Num minifig. Even though he did come in a set a long time ago, of which the 2014 B Wing, but although hasn't been available in any sets in so long, so obviously this is which good way to get him without having to pay extra for that set second hand of course. And although for the Luke Skywalker mini thing, it was good to see him in a like a non diorama set of it. And of course also to get the new hair piece of him for that. And then and as for the two builds of which although I think like for the price point of which I think it should have been worth a lot less, even though the Although it kind of has a lot more going on to it, unlike with the Ambush on Ferrix set for Andor two years ago, which was kind of similar, similarly priced, but although it which was quite a bit smaller than that, less going on for that. Although I think the Scarlet Pit should have had a lot less pieces and maybe have similar bits to the Toy Seventeen one to there. And, and and of course that in that way which would have bumped it down to like uh, 50 or so instead of the like 70 that this one is but however but although it still kind of works out as a good parts pack of like tan curved and jagged slopes of course and of course six minifigs for the price point which is quite good for how it is for that then and also a good way to get Boba Fett without getting the Boba Fett mech, as obviously, and yeah. And for the set as is a witch, a witch quite good for how it is. Like two builds and together in a set, of course. And then and so now if you're looking to get this set for the twenty fifth for your twenty fifth anniversary of Lego Star Wars collection, then definitely pick it up. And if you like missed out on previous Desert Skip sets and then definitely get this set then definitely get this of course and if you are looking to get the Naya Num minifig to add to your to the rest of the uh, 25th anniversary minifigs for that then definitely pick it up and that's about it with this video please like comment share and subscribe thank you for watching